welcome to Thought Chills. With the way the Howling 3 wrapped things up, there really was nowhere else for the story to go. So with the Howling 4, the original Nightmare, we're given a reboot to the series. The story is sort of a retread of the first, except instead of anchorwoman Karen White, this time we follow author Marie Adams, who goes to a therapeutic getaway to rid herself of the continuous nightmares that have been plaguing her. Go away! Go away, my child! So here we have a fresh new start for the Howling series. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, so many things. The pacing is slow and uneventful. There's no sense of urgency, nor suspense. My dog is missing. It's a white poodle. The filmmakers attempt to add in a mystery element, but it doesn't help at all. If anything, it just makes the plot even more confusing and convoluted. Most of the movie is dedicated to Marie talking to the locals and asking them questions about the town. When you found her in the hospital, did they say whether or not they found her in the woods or in the cottage? With the amount of times that she does this, you can make a drinking game out of the movie. But I would advise against it. Save your strong liquor for a better bad movie. Are the characters at least interesting? Unfortunately, not so much. A lot of the performances are bland and emotionless. And if Sister Ruth... Okay, just stop it, alright? Just stop it right there. Even when the characters are supposed to be scared, they look like they're treating their dire situation as an inconvenience instead of potential death. Come on, get started! The dialogue doesn't help either. Most of it is just our character spouting exposition. Doctor, I shot at a wolf last night. A wolf? Are you sure? At the 35 minute mark, we finally get a couple of minutes of werewolf terror. But, joke's on the viewer, because everything else after that is nothing but more people talking in rooms, a scene of werewolf sex, and more bullshit exposition. And you come up with howling werewolves and demented nuns. At the last 10 minutes of the movie, something happens. We finally get some creepy werewolf scenes. And some pretty disgusting practical effects. Richard! If only there had been more stuff like this. Even though those last 10 minutes are entertaining, it still doesn't redeem the boring shit I had to put up with. The filmmakers had an opportunity to start fresh with the Howling series, but they blew it. And instead, they crafted a slow and boring story with little payoff for the viewer. If you were interested in seeing this, my advice, skip to the last 10 minutes for the effects. Otherwise, stay away.